what's up guys how are you guys doing so as you can see I'm in my hotel room right now I'm going to do some fun video which is I'm going to apply my makeup but but there is a twist for it so I'm going to apply my makeup without using any makeup brush as well as without using any makeup sponge so it will be only my finger and hopefully I doing a very good job for it so if you are new welcome my name is June I'm posting video every single week so consider subscribing it will be very fun for you to join my YouTube family so without further ado let's go started with my makeup So the first thing that I'm going to put is my Burberry uh, Burberry Primer Fresh Glow Primer. This is my Burberry Primer. This is a sample size, as you can see. I really like to bring a sample size everywhere I go because it's just safe space and it's just convenient. It doesn't make your luggage be that uh, heavy and then since we are only having a staycation for a day in Marina Bay Sands so basically I don't really need a lot of uh, makeup product as well it's only one day but I definitely want it want it to look good to apply makeup so here it is my neck as well so my primer is done now I'm going to apply my foundation. My foundation is in this small little, uh, little container because I already pre-mix it to this small little container. It looks like this. So I'm going to use my Savora spatula. It's a new one. So I'm going to just swipe it to my face. Just like this. Hopefully I'm doing a good job with my foundation because normally for foundation I just really like to uh, put with a sponge or a spatula or spatula sorry a sponge or a makeup brush which is make it more even but now since it's a challenge so I just need to use my finger and need to make it even look great not that khaki anymore so seems to be okay so after a foundation I'm going to put up my compact powder which is from body shop I always use this I've been showing this uh, for the past few of my video so it's good that it's come with the oh sorry it's it's good that it's come with the sponge already so I have the sponge I have a very dry skin so basically I don't really have to set my makeup but this one is just to really make sure that there's nothing uh, budging from my face just that extra step of precaution so done with my powder which is looks quite okay and even for my complexion now going to do my brow from Innisfree I'm not going to put too heavy a brow because I like it to be natural and uh, thankfully I have quite a full eyebrow it's just that of course there's always a hair gap that I need to cover so, okay seems to be good Maybe a little bit more Another side is the brush, very handy. And as you know, Innisfree Things is was very affordable, which is good. Okay, 
Okay, great for my eyebrow. Now I'm going to do my blush. I have this small little blush from the palm. It's cute. Very small and little, compact, but looks good. This is in the color... I don't know, there's no color in here. But well, I'll just use my finger and I'm trying to tap it to my cheek. Whoa, <laughs> I'm impressed that I'm doing a quite a good job with my finger. I was very worried before that I might ruin my my look today. But seems to be quite okay. Okay, looks great. A bit here. And in my nose. Just to put that extra blush in natural blush in our face. Hmm. Okay, great. Love it. Look glowy now. So I'm done with my blush here. I'm going to start with my eye look, which is I'm using my always go to palette naked too. Looks like this. So actually there is a makeup brush here, but to challenge myself, I will not use it. I will just use my finger to dab it. So first of all, maybe I'm using this color, a busted here, busted here. So I'm using my ring finger. I'm going to dab it to my eye. Okay. Hopefully I'm not going to ruin my my entire look so still busted other eye look quite okay anyway I will uh, apply my fake lashes afterwards so hopefully if there is any uh, unmatched color <laughs> from my eyeshadow I can hide it with my uh, with my eye fake eyelashes but so far so good so so far so good for now doesn't seem that ugly right so I'm going I'm going in with Ferve Ferve here Ferve here a bit lighter color I'm going to put it in the inner part the lower part sorry in the lower part of my eyes here as well okay definitely going to just make a simple eye look this doesn't is will not going to be that glam just for everyday look but in case you know you did not bring any makeup brush so you still can apply this simple look although it still looks very good so Looks okay in my opinion. Yep. Okay. Will be just this kind of simple look like this. So I'm going to put up some eyeliner. My eyeliner is from Kat Von D as usual. This is my always go to eyeliner. This is in a sample size. So going to draw my eyeliner. So my eyeliner is done. Let me zoom you a little bit in. It's not that perfect but it's still okay. Now I'm going to just quickly put up my mascara which is from MAC, uh, Mark and Jacob. So just going to put it up before I, I uh, top it up with my fake lashes. So this is to make my natural lashes not streaking down so it's not look too obvious with the fake lashes
so done with my mascara I'm going to put up some fake lashes like this let me get the glue which is also in a sample size here look at the difference between this eyes and this eye look very awake in this eyes right on for both of my eyelash it's quite nice oh this one is not really sticking yet because my glue my last glue is still wet i put it up too fast so this one is a little bit Up. I think it should be fine. Uh, just need to leave it for a couple of minutes so for the glue to stay. So my eyelash are on. My eyes is looks very pop already. But if you really want it to make an extra step, you can always take a Q-tip. I believe there is always a Q-tip or cotton bud here in every uh, hotel. So you can just take a a little bit of this black shadow and you are going to smudge it to your eyes below your eyes you don't have to but if you really wanted to just take that, that extra step to make your eyes look more divine which what I'm doing right now Okay, this one is the dark side so you can always flip to the one that is still clean and going to put in your inner corner. Okay, like this. Looks good. And the last thing that I'm going to apply is I'm going to apply my lipstick. This one is from Fenty Beauty. A very pretty nude. Look at this. So here it is, my my final look. Quite okay. I'm very proud of it. <laughs> it's not perfect, but it was beautiful and it looks very nice. Oh, I forget. Let me put up some highlights. I was keep on thinking something is not really pop yet. So I'm going to put up some highlights my cheekbone this one is from Becca so as always here oh look at that glow and my nose bridge definitely oh great it doesn't really seem to look uh, glowy in the camera but in person it was very glowy looks very good so this is it my final look for my non makeup brush and non makeup sponge challenge i hope you like it don't forget to like and subscribe as always i see you in my next one bye